We're going to just share with you a quick and easy technique featuring the infusions powdered pigments from Paper Artsy. And if you have not used these, they are absolutely fantastic. Great for mixed media. Great if you're just starting out with mixed media or if you are somebody who has done lots and lots of it. So I'm going to be working onto my craft sheet. I like using a white craft sheet for this technique because I can see how much powder I've applied to it. Unlike with a darker color, it's a little bit trickier to see. So I've got a little bit of the slimed infusions and I, you can see I've just got a little um, powder on there. Now, what we've gone ahead and done is poked a hole in the top of the infusions bottle lid. This is all you need to decant some of that infusions onto your craft sheet. Otherwise, if you unscrew the, the top, you'll get way more than you need. So just pop a little bit of washi tape or masking tape on top of that. <laughs> then I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this. And you can see how that is beginning to puddle and pool. You can also see that there's not only that beautiful green in there, but there's also some brown as well. And when you see it brayered out onto my uh, cardstock, then you'll see how it comes out. So I'm just going to brayer this on here quite lightly. This is also a paper artsy brayer. And give that a little bit of a clean. You can tell it's been well used. So this is a brand new tool for us here at Paper Artsy. It's one of my favorites. So I think you can see not only do you get that beautiful green color in there, you've also got some little spots of that walnut crystal that's also included in the infusions. And it's in all of the infusions, so all of the colors are going to have a really beautiful, kind of a vintage tone to them. So this is almost dry, but I'm gonna give it a little spritz here with the heat tool, just to speed that up. We're also doing a make and take as well. Okay, so that doesn't take very long at all to dry that up, and you can see again, rich, true color. Now, the more water you use with this, of course, you're going to get either a lighter or darker effect, just depending on how much you're using. So now I'm gonna pull out some of a coordinating color. This is the Green Man, which is a beautiful, beautiful dark green. And I, again, I'm just going to get a little bit onto my craft sheet. I'm going to be working with a stencil, and this is one of my new stencils for Paper Artsy. This is PS123, the leaves. Um, and you can use this for so many different techniques, but this is one of my favorites with the infusions. I'm gonna toss that out of the way. And I'm using a stippling brush. Remember these, you probably have a stash of these somewhere in your work area. I'm gonna be using this to apply some of the infusions through the stencil. So again, I'm gonna add a little bit of water and I'm adding the water next to the infusions. That way I can really mix that color because I don't want it to be too watery. I'm going to place the stencil on top of this and I'm just going to hold it down. And tap this on. Just using a pouncing motion. And I'm holding it. You can tape it down if that makes you feel better or a little bit more secure. And if I'm tapping it, I'm maybe not getting edge to edge, so if I want to do a little bit of a swooping motion in there, I can do that. And then, when I pull this off, I have not only the beautiful solid white, and this is the smoothie cardstock, so this is a great cardstock for working with mixed media because it's sturdy, it's completely smooth, and you can do some wet medium techniques on it without it getting all pilly and fuzzy. So I've got that beautiful bright crisp white. I've got the layer of the slime infusions brayered onto the back. And then I've also got that easy stippling technique with the green man. And this would be something that you can then add more stamping on top of it or have this be the front of a card or part of an art journal page or however you like to use your mixed media pieces. Okay. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you, Raquel. Bye. <laughs>